Why don't you have a seat right over here and subscribe to Pliskin Players? Hey. Cuck. Really, guys? Must we? This is Yagami.
Hey. I'm on it. Excuse me. None. I'm on it. <laughs> Yagamisa. Stay down. guys just committed murder really guys
He lost the fucking kid. Oh my god. What a moron. Brian. Yo. What's up? Bri Bri. What's up, Eric? What's going on? L Brian. That's me. You wanna record the episode or wait tomorrow? I'm gonna record today. All right, can you come in person or or no? today or tonight should I say oh fuck they got the kid dude I didn't know that Buzz Lightyear movie was coming this week me neither is it any good Kaido's not like that. What the fuck? <laughs> Is he drunk? Huh? Oh my god, he got drunk. Huh? Huh? I wouldn't be able to go today, that's why I'm saying you want to record through online or just tomorrow when I can head, I don't know. You can come through tomorrow, I don't mind. Is there no voice acting? Not for, not for this side mission. Huh? Up, do you? Let's do. Let's see. What can we use? Um, this game does have voice acting, but for some of the side missions, it's just text, which is, yeah, it's fine. Huh? 
Whoa! Damn! Get fucked. So this whole mission is about these gangsters kidnapping the kid, you getting them back. Oh my god, it was in the toy the entire time. Wow. 50 million yen. 50 million. This game looks funny. This game is funny. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nice. That's like, uh, the kid didn't give a reaction. It's so weird. Woo! Oh, so cute. <laughs> Sentimental music coming on. It's like, forget it. I'm not cool. You don't want to be like me. Huh? Why not? I want to fight together. Nice little mission. You why does it sound like Spider-Man's gonna come out of he starts swinging into I thought you'd the have given world. up by now after what you did to me in the Kahine not once but twice I'm never backing down sorry but you reap what you sow huh the hell are you talking about quit showing off with your fancy words and shit <laughs> seriously Saka Kiba that's fucking Azai. funny Hungry! What the fuck? This man is Kaito Sakakiba, one of the Kahin Four. Him? You let him in? 
Hey, Kasai. You're buying me food if I take this guy down, yeah? Hey, you better believe it. Steak, ramen, pizza, whatever you want, oh, big guy. Oh, that's so good. I hope you're not lying. <laughs> that mean I get dessert too? Sure, sure. Cake, <laughs> pudding, anything. You these bad bucks. Does, um, <laughs> what does the curry is going count on? as dessert? Literally anything you want, as much of it as you want, just beat his ass. Come on, is he you a can't black just let him talk you into food. What the fuck? We just saw the origin story of a fat fuck getting fatter, I suppose. Followers, fans, and viewers on this giant store. Oh my god! Okay, I need to heal up or I'm gonna die. Holy shit, that motherfucker just... He just came up. Why is he on the sidelines? Beat your fat fuck. Jeez, this guy's built like a ton of bricks. <laughs> Round two? You see that? There's no getting through his flabby exterior. <laughs> now go, Sakakiba. Smash this bitch. What the fuck? Oh my god. What are you spacing out for? Get him! I'm hungry. What? It's dinner time. Dude, oh my god, the like camera shake. You. <laughs> the camera shake, oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. Shit! Might be the only Better black actor in this time, game. Asshole. Wait, that would be my line. Come on, man. <laughs> He's like, at least I killed some time. Shouldn't be too long now until Sorry Son gets in touch. I need a nap. Dude, the fucking humor in this game is just The shake great. emoji face with tears of joy. The fucking camera shake. <laughs> Earthquake fucking happening. Oh my god. So for sure tomorrow, Eric. No lagging. 'll I've been waiting for you why don't we step inside for a little chat another voluntary interrogation thought I told you to bring a warrant next time the hell was that <sighs> let's be civilized here Yagami san
Fine. Office is pretty dirty, though. That's my line. So, to what do I owe the honor? There's a leak in the prosecutor's office. Pretty sure it's a woman. Got her hands on some pretty important case files. The ones about the vice director of the ADDC getting beaten to death in the street. You have any ideas? Sorry, not a clue. What kind of lowlife would sell police secrets? Shh. Scum. Right, Ayabe? Totally. The worst. <laughs> Nobody takes us seriously around here. That all you came to ask? I'm sure you guys are just as busy as I am. So, if you're finished, I'm gonna have to ask you to... Right. Izumita wants to talk to you tomorrow. About Shintani's murder. You'll be there, in cuffs if need be. Why am I being treated like a suspect? <laughs> Sorry, that's classified. Just drop by the public prosecutor's office. If you're innocent, you have nothing to worry about. You don't want to deal with getting arrested. Trust me. Better to handle this before it gets to that point. Think of it like that. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Besides, you and Izumina go way back. But how am I going to defend myself if I don't know why he suspects me? Let me guess. I'll find out when I get there. More or less. Who knows what angle Izumita will take. <laughs> Have it your way. I'll come in and clear the air and we'll be done with this. I'll be in touch tomorrow. <sighs> Asshole's been dragging me everywhere. I can't do a damn thing on my own. I can tell. Looks rough. Yagami-san? Hey, any luck? Yes. I made friends with the girl who served Hoshki six months ago. We're gonna bounce and go to tender in a few. Perfect. Wait, did you just say bounce? Sorry, son. Took you long enough. This is Mika-san. Hey, I'm Yagami. Mind if I join you? Be my guest. This is the man you served six months ago? You're certain? Yeah, that's him. We already discussed Hoshki and Shono. Mikasan was at their table, without a doubt. That's Shono-san, right? Yeah. What were they like? I guess nothing stood out about them more than any other pair of businessman types. Hashki-san complained about his boss, while Shono-san just nodded and smiled. What was Hashki saying? He was going on and on about this Kido-san guy. Have you heard about that new dementia drug, 89? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of familiar. Not surprised. They used to talk about it on TV a bunch. Anyway, apparently keto sans kind of a big shot guy on the 89 research team. And Hashki and Shono were talking shit about him? Yeah. Sounds like keto san was getting wined and dined by all sorts of people who wanted to profit off 89. From what I heard, not all those deals were above board. Secret deals, huh? 
Is Kido-san working with the Yakuza? Hashiki-san didn't give specifics, but he did say 89 could buy a lot of influence. And about the cut he'd be getting later. He seemed like a really shady guy, actually. Interesting. Did you ever hear Hashiki mention a Kachihira? Kachihira? It's a big construction company based out of Kansai. Basically, Hashiki was working for this Kajihira, trying to shut down the ADDC. Wait, I thought Hashiki-san was super important, like vice director or something. He was. Kajihira's money was too much for him to refuse, though. Mm. Either way, I, I don't remember hearing them talk about a Kajihira. I gotta say, you remember a lot for a conversation that happened six months ago. Can you blame me? The poor man got beaten to death right afterward. I replay this a lot. Right. Sorry. And at that point, I already knew about 89. See, my grandma has pretty bad Alzheimer's. So, I was hoping they'd release it to the public soon. I'm sure that made the conversation stick out to you. Yeah, when I heard Kitasan was just another slime ball, I don't know, kind of broke my heart. <sighs> Tragic. How was Shono acting that night at the club? Well, <laughs> he spent most of the night staring at my chest. Hashki san kept going on about Kitasan all the same, though. The camera angle, Me too, dude. I contact Yagami san. Shono-san seemed more interested in being a creep than indulging him, though. You don't think he was listening to Hashiki-san, then? Nope. Didn't seem like it. <laughs> Disgruntled boss on one side, closet perv on the other. But then, out of the blue, Hashiki-san said this. There's something fishy going on with 89, I just know it. Did he have any idea what it was? Um, what did he say again? Uh, something about... Fabrication or falsification? Data fabrication? Falsifying the effects of the drug? Yeah, that was it. He kept going on about how AD9 was too good to be true. And how weird it is that it just came out of nowhere. So he brought Shono to the club to try and figure out if AD9 was real. Right. What did Shono say? Just, there's nothing fishy about it. But then Hashiki-san yelled back, I don't believe that for a second. It was kind of awkward seeing how desperate he was. Makes sense he'd be desperate, though. Why? He promised this guy Kajihira he'd shut down the ADDC. Hmm. Thanks for this, Mika-chan. You must be exhausted. That's all of it? Yeah, you helped us more than you know. Be safe on your way back. Thank you. Uh, what time's your shift start tomorrow, Sari-san? Sorry. I'm not coming back tomorrow. Huh? It was a one-night thing. I got to see a side of myself I didn't know I had, though. Man, this stinks. You're so pretty, Sari-san, and I was pumped to learn more from you. I don't think I have much left to teach. I might be able to help you, though, as a friend. You're a lawyer? Let me know if you ever get into trouble. Wow, I've never been friends with a lawyer before. This is, like, super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye now! That was amazing, Saori-san. You really pulled through for us. It's fine. Come on, I'll walk you back to the office. I want to review what we learned with Hoshinokun and the others. Sure. So the background with the girl, the background with the lady in the blue dress is that she was a, uh, you know, shy introvert in the office. 
and we needed someone to go undercover into this into this uh club to gather information about this dead man so she got a complete makeover she was kind of fugly and then uh you know we got it done but she got the complete makeover she looked like a completely different person and uh, yeah, it's really, it's really funny. Long story short, she went to she, she underwent a makeover, went from like a two to like an eight. Everyone wants to fuck her, and she got the information. She got out. Basically, it. Welcome back. You're so beautiful, sorry son. Like a puppy. You should dress like that all the time, Saurikun. Yeah, good luck finding clients. I'm changing. <laughs> Look at this guy. You're about to see how she regularly chance dresses. Hashki's murder was premeditated. Just like Chairman Kajihira suspected. That's how she looks That's like. the conclusion you and Saurikun reached? Yeah. Hashki thought something was up with 89. Doubted the authenticity of the research. Seemed convinced they had fabricated data. He was desperately searching for proof before he died. But was there anything actually wrong with it? I tried analyzing the paper myself to find out, but it's like it was written in a different language. I'm searching for someone more knowledgeable as we speak. But nobody seems to suspect any foul play. Not even online. Yet Hashki was still searching for issues. And if he had managed to find one... The ADDC would be long gone by now. Then they murdered Hashki to keep the secret safe? Don't be ridiculous. Who would kill a man just to protect a research paper? It might not be as unlikely as you think. The ADDC has been bringing in billions of government yen ever since they published that paper. With that much cash involved, bumping someone off wouldn't be out of the question. The question is, who killed Hashki? A professional assassin, if I had to guess. The man in the black raincoat. If he was an assassin, that would mean someone hired him. Yeah. Someone who wanted to protect 89 and the ADDC. But who? Can't begin to imagine. But apparently Kido was out hyping up 89, raking in tons of dirty money in the process. Guy might even be involved with the Yakuza. You're really suspicious of him, Yagami-san. Well, if it looks like a rat... Maybe Shintani got too close to the truth. And Kido offed him for it. The thought has crossed my mind. Don't think we can say that for sure without looking more into Kido, though. But judging from our last visit, 
That won't be as easy as you make it sound. He's practically a celebrity at this point. Well, maybe if we can't get him to talk, the prosecutor's office can. Huh? What do you mean? I've got a meeting with Izumita tomorrow. They're calling me in. Isn't that the prosecutor who was trying to get you arrested? He can try all he wants. That's what this meeting's about. No chance in hell he agrees to help us, then. All depends on how this little chat goes. If I can convince him I'm innocent, I'll clear my name and put the squeeze on Keto all in one fell swoop. What are you planning, Yagami-san? Yo, everything's really falling into place. Guess it's good we let Saori-san handle the cabaret, huh? Don't know if I should be saying this, but it's been a while since I've felt this alive. This case is just about reaching its tipping point. I'd be out there too if my knees weren't so damn creaky. You can talk to Izumita tomorrow, but you better not get arrested over there. Promise me. I feel like we did good work today. Go home and relax, Yagami-san. You have a big day tomorrow. What's the big deal about Pliskin plays? He's no different from any other Twitch streamer. What's even a Pliskin anyhow? Sounds like an infection you get on your dick. <laughs>